All right, this regular scheduled meeting of the State Hills Board of Education will come to order. The first item on the agenda is the <coughs> approval of the agenda. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second. Uh, next item on the agenda is to approve the minutes from the last board meeting, which have been distributed beforehand. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Uh, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Dr. Friedman. Members have a very special guest today with us, several, and we want to start with introducing Mayor Curry joining us tonight. Thanks for being here, Mayor. Everybody knows uh, Mayor Curry had a couple of months uh, ago inquired with me about the idea of doing something uh, in honor of our very first uh, superintendent of Vestavia Hills School, uh, who had passed away recently, and so he's been working on this, and I want him to really take the lead. Mayor Curry on this, and then we'll get everybody introduced and up here, but uh, thank you all for coming. Well, thank you for having us. As a matter of fact, I'd like for Mrs. Clark and any of the family, if y'all can stand up here and come on everybody. Come on up front here. Let's get over and each other where we've got plenty of room. But, uh, yeah, I'll get Dr. Freeman to come join me, and Ms. Clark, if you'll stand right here, I'm gonna, I want to read what we're presenting here. This is a joint effort from the city and the school board and I'd like to read that on behalf of the city of Vestavia Hills it's with great pleasure that I present to the family of William T. Clark this certificate of appreciation for his leadership and dedication as the founding superintendent of the Vestavia Hills City School System. We are grateful for his service to both the students and to the community of Vestavia Hills. The mayor and city council, along with superintendent Dr. Todd Freeman, and members of the Vestavia Hills Board of Ed Education are honored to recognize his valuable contribution to the city of Vestavia Hills. And I'd like for you and your family to have this. I wanted to share a personal note with the group that uh, I first met the Clarks. My Aunt Maggie is here, we'll get her to wait. <laughs> her husband, John Shelton, was, among other things, superintendent of schools in Troy, and went on and worked with the state in the disability determination area. But anyway, it was through Dr. Shelton that when I was running for office, he said, well, that's fine that you're gonna run, but you need to meet Dr. Clark. So uh, that's how I got introduced to y'all, and certainly uh, want to recognize what he meant to the city. When he started it, Vestavia schools were great and they've continued to be great. So I hope that you can, you and the family can enjoy that and uh, we're just so appreciative of what he did for us. Thank you. All right. you introduce everybody who's here with you. Oh, we need to embarrass everybody. You can go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Um, all right. This is our son, Ted Clark, our daughter, Ellen Barry, her husband, Steve Barry, our grandson, Brett Barry, who came through Vestavia system. All right. As did these two. <laughs> Our granddaughter Jenna Dietrich, our son, grandson-in-law, <laughs> Andrew Dietrich. But, yeah. We're thrilled to have you here and so glad you're here. Uh, one of the things, Ms. Clark, I know that is critical for a superintendent is that they have a husband or wife uh, that supports them unequivocally. And mine does, and I know that you did. And so what the Board of Education is doing is, is because you were a music teacher at West uh, for a period of time, is what, so what our Board of Education do is making purchases for our choral programs in your honor uh, for what you've meant to our system as well. So we're That's thankful that for, thank you for your right. Yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> okay. Um, just a bit of a the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. for it, Mr. Whenever Ashley's We're through. Ready. Oh, I'm done. Go ahead, man. I would like. I would like to say that perhaps I'm the only one in this room that had the honor and privilege of working together and for Bill Clark. Um, he was a wonderful human being. People don't realize 
what a difficult task Bill Clark undertook when he became our first superintendent in 1970. We formed our school system in April of 1970 and we hired Bill shortly thereafter and he faced three hurdles that, that the ordinary person couldn't get over. One was we had limited facilities. We had approximately 2,500 youngsters to educate and we took over East and Pazitz by the process of osmosis but we didn't have classrooms enough to to take care of all the students so we used the Civic Center and we used the Vestavia Hills United Methodist Church. Bill made it work. Second obstacle was the board was grossly underfunded. Interest rates at that time were uh, in excess of 20 percent and he made a little stretch a long, long way. And the last thing was that no sooner that we hired him and we hadn't even opened the schoolhouse door yet and we were brought into the desegregation case that was pending that started in 1965 and we had to prove to the federal court that we didn't organize a school system to avoid integration was the issue. And uh, Bill guided us through that. And from a personal note, all Patrick Boone can say to William T. Clark is thank you because he is the one that came to me and said, Pat, Bob Vance has become a United States Circuit Court of Appeals judge, would you take his place? And I can tell you, I love to tell Judge Vance's son this, there isn't a human being or lawyer in the world that could take Bob Vance's place. And here I was, not even dry behind the ears, and Bill Clark came to me and said, Patrick, we want to welcome you aboard, and that's been over 41 years ago. So, thank you, Ms. Ann. Thank y'all. She knows how board meetings go, and she's welcome to stay, but she, you know, she knows how board meetings go. <laughs> All right, our next honoree is one of our students uh, from Liberty Park. And I'd like Jim Marie to, to uh, recognize her. Yep. So we are so proud and excited that Amy Thompson's artwork was awarded the third place in the Bicentennial Art Show, the State Superintendent's Art Show in Montgomery. And as you can see, her artwork is on the screen for us. And we would very much like for you to tell us a little bit about your inspiration and um, your work. So would you tell the group? Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my artwork. I did a portrait of the Vulcan for the State Bicentennial Art Show, and I used shading pencils to shade and draw the Vulcan, and I used paints and oil pastels to draw the background. And her teacher, Lynn Chart, would you please stand and come up here with us? Um, is here with us too. And um, we're just so proud of the work that they've done together. This is Leon's first year as art teacher at East. Um, and so what an accomplishment for both of you guys. And your parents are here, correct? And maybe some other family members. So great. A lot of other families. <laughs> <laughs> of course they want to be here. There's a lot of That's very exciting. Y'all just had an award ceremony, correct? Yes. 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 Anything you want to tell us about where it's hanging down there in Montgomery? Is it in like a special space? What's in the Capitol building? It's in the Capitol. So it's in, yes. there, okay. in the old Supreme Court um, library. Okay. Yes. So Wonderful. if you want to see it, please go check it out because mm -hmm. she's an amazing artist. Yeah, it's very true. Thank you so much. Yes. Congratulations.
while Liberty Park would love to claim you, I think you can take it. <laughs> Thank you, family, extended family, for being here to support Amy. That's fantastic. Okay, our next recognition, by the way, uh, let me say this about uh, the Bicentennial. You know, this is our 200 year celebration in Alabama that Cahaba Heights Elementary and West Elementary are participating in the Bicentennial celebration. And so quickly, Cindy, a theme that's going on at East this year. No, I'm sorry, I'm getting all confused with West. <laughs> West. Where my Susan? Susan. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing at West. So this week we're having a um, Celebrate Alabama Week, and we have guest readers coming in, some of our school board members, Dr. Freeman, uh, Mayor Curry, and they're going to be reading this book called Alabama, My Home Sweet Home, to all the students. So we are having just a celebration of all the people and places in Alabama. Right. Yes, yeah, so we partnered with the Cahaba River Society, and um, at the beginning of the year, all of our fourth and fifth graders went to the Cahaba River and had field trips there. We just want to ed educate our kids on where they get their water from and uh, biodiversity in the river. And then um, in the spring, we're having a cleanup day, so anyone can come be a hero with us. My <laughs> heroes here to save the day. Um, you're welcome to join us on April 7th. That's a Sunday afternoon. We're going to be out cleaning up around the river. So. Good. Thank y'all. Appreciate you doing that too. Their banners are in front of the school. You can check those out. Uh, nice prestigious honor to get to celebrate this year. Okay, our last recognition is from Vestavios High School, and he's got a great name for a wrestler, a state champion wrestler, Pete Dazio. <laughs> champion wrestler. So Coach Adams is here with him. Coach, I'd like for you to come on up with Pete and, and just do a little bit of bragging about it, if you don't mind. He is our state champion. What's your weight class, Pete? 170. 170. All right, come on up. This is T. Adams. <laughs> Wrestling guru. All right, tell us a bit about it. Um, peace, my man, man. Um, I came in three years ago. Um, like I said, first one I met Pete. Um, hard worker. I gave him a task. Well, I didn't give him a task. I asked him a task. A coded message. Um, he said he wanted to be a varsity starter. And I told him that there was a weight class open, uh, 140 pounds. I think he weighed about 165 at the time. And he asked me, do you want me to cut weight? And I said, I didn't say that. I just said, there's one open. <laughs> So, um, and so he, he made the choice then. I know we had a special kid. Um, he was three time place winner, four as a second, and then finished as a champion as a senior. Yeah, so. that's fantastic. Anything you want to share with me? <laughs> um, a lot of your former teachers are in here, Pete. Just glad, to have, <laughs> glad to have Catch Adams and Catch Pruitt and Catch Merrill and all those people that helped yeah. me through. Good. You have family with you, Tony? Yes, sir. My parents. All right. Congratulations, parents. This is a big win. Fantastic. Very impressed. Congratulations. Thank you. are at 82 percent compared to 88 percent at this time last year and total expenditures compared to budget are in line with prior year 43 percent and all board bank accounts have been reconciled as of february 28 2019. board members i'd recommend that we approve the financial statement for february 2019. heard the superintendent's recommendation do we have a motion to approve so second second any questions so Courtney, you think the 82 and the 88 is just a timing issue? It is. You know, we have we've had a lag the last couple of months with the property tax revenues, so I think we're finally almost getting caught up. So hopefully, um, in March, I can report that we're we've collected 100%. Hopefully. <laughs> Any questions? All in favor? Item six, I recommend the board approve consent items related to out-of-state overnight field trips and disposal of property. So we've heard the superintendent's recommendation. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. And a second. Second. Any questions? 
Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item seven, recommend the board approve budget amendment number one as submitted. For the superintendent's recommendation around approving budget amendment number one, do we have a motion to approve? Second. 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 Questions, commentary? Courtney, mm -hmm. just a brief um, So what this is is a routine amendment that we do um, to adjust our fund balance to what we actually ended with as of September 30, 2018. Um, this was as of our state approved financial statement. So. Um, you know, at the time I prepared the budget, I didn't know exactly how we were going to end up since it was in July. So it increased our fund balance um, a few million dollars. So that puts us well above our two-month required reserve. So it's just a required notification to the state. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. We like those kind of budgets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Item D. <coughs> I recommend the board approve change order number six with Blaylock Building Company Incorporated in the additional amount of $201,382 for renovations for the middle school package B building addition and renovations. For the superintendent's recommendation, we have a motion to approve. Second. Second. Yep. Uh, commentary? Questions? Yeah, one thing I'll note on this change order, uh, I, I think we're getting closer to having fewer of these. Uh, but there is a significant amount of the 200000 about 126000 I believe, Brendan, that's tied to the roof on the mural building, and that's not the replacement of the roof, it's the structure underneath it. It's largely a structural steel package, am I correct? That's right. Okay. Any questions? I get too excited just talking about the change order. All in favor? Aye. I get choked up because of the pollen. So I'm going to get <laughs> All right, item C. I recommend the board approve the low bid from Deering Construction Company LLC in the amount of one million forty-seven thousand dollars for new loop drive and parking for Best Avenue Hills Elementary, Dolly Ridge. For the superintendent's recommendation, do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Second. Questions, commentary. A little bit of about what the new loop drive and parking will entail. We share this. Yeah. yeah. See, um, here on this architectural rendering, we shared this back in January. Um, right now, the playground sits behind current Gresham School. You can see that will turn into our loop road. Parking spots there um, in the middle of the loop where the playground now sits. Uh, 130 total spots in the rear of the building and then another uh, 49 spots there where the, in front of where the playground is now. And so you'll loop around the back, come around to the front of the building, and then around the island. So there will be adequate parking for every parent event. I thought Dr. Aaron also said that every parent is guaranteed a parking place. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's not here. He's not here. <laughs> if he does it, he said that, right? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. Well, every parent will have a designated spot just for their own. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 180 total. 180 yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> When's expected completion? This project will be similar to Valley Ridge last year. It'll start about school and finish. Yeah. What did I say? Can we pull K off of there at this point? Motion to modify the agenda. Any other questions on that? All in favor? Aye. All right. Next item, E, I recommend the board approve the contract with Neary Construction Company, LLC, in the amount of one million forty-seven thousand for new loop drive and parking for Best of Hills Elementary Dollar Ridge. Heard the superintendent's recommendation. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Second. No questions on this since that's just a tie with the line. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, item E, I recommend the board approve the agreement for purchase and sale of real estate in the amount of three hundred thousand dollars as submitted. Per the superintendent's recommendation on this, do we have a motion to approve? Second. 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 Comments. All right. I would like to show you what we've got planned. For Bobby Volkin. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. 
Can we put pants on him? Yes. Hopefully. Still recovering. All right, you can uh, you can see the uh, the property there. Um, the lower side. There, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's not going. You can see in the bottom right hand corner the uh, the, the space there um, for for purchase. And what that will provide us with is with an additional, uh, potentially an additional 76 parking spaces for that campus. So, about two acres of property. Let's show my next one. This is not the full picture, but give you an idea of what it would look like. We have 180 spots that you've approved on this last item. Uh, this would add an additional 76, uh, maybe a few more if need be. Uh, but just just to give you a little bit of uh, perspective on this, we did an alternate for the bid that you just approved a few moments ago on the island, which is where the buses surround, uh, to develop that into parking. We could have developed 56 parking spaces, am I correct, Sean, and it, at a cost of $625,000. Uh, to develop this property with 76 parking spaces, we estimate the cost $450,000. So the development in itself is much less expensive. So the net, the difference in uh, the purchase and the development of that, that would be 750,000 estimated versus developing that island at 625. Uh, it's about a thousand dollars less per parking space uh, to do it. So uh, we felt like it was a good uh, property purchase for us to make. And uh, does a due process that goes along with this provided you approve the contract that would take probably three months uh, for all things to be done, but uh, we believe that strategically it will be a good purchase for us and give us more parking uh, as the needs of that school expand. And if I recall, the terrain of that allows us to use of that big old pile of dirt we have to kind of get a fill it. Yeah, yeah thank you for right? saying that. We, we yeah. pulled off a very large amount of dirt off the site for the new building. It's sitting on the football field in the back corner. And we don't know exact quantities. I don't know if we verified those yet, Sean, do we? 1,900. Yeah. yards. 1,900 cubic yards is what Brittany said. It wasn't near, it says we have on site, it would take about 2,600 cubic yards. So we still have to bring in about 700 cubic yards of fill material. The gain for us is that Nearing has to get the stuff off the site anyway. Correct. And so it's really a savings for us to use basically yeah. the dirt we need to, to fill it up. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 I recommend the board approve the contract with J.A. Dawson and Company Incorporated in the amount of $176,929.02 for the playground for Vestavia Hills Elementary, Dolly Ridge. For the superintendent's recommendation, do I have a motion to approve? Second. 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 We discussed this previously. It's moving that playground up to the front there. Where the parking's going to be in the seat here on the yeah. road. Where the parking lot will stand. Next to the island. Got it. That's a pretty sizable playground, too, I think, from what we discussed. But yeah. it's a, we used a lot of the Kaaba Heights model on a little larger scale since we've got a large number of kids. So, the good thing about that location is it's right near the walkway to the football field. Just a good connection. Got it. Any questions? It's a summer project as well. That's good. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item G, I recommend the board approve the bid from Williford Orman Construction LLC in the amount of thirty-four thousand dollars nine hundred forty-eight for modifications to visitor side bleachers for Best State Hills High School. Per the superintendent's recommendation, do we have a motion to approve? Second. 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 All right. Would you like that one? Scroll down for me if you would. You can see here what this will provide at the stadium on the visitor side is uh, eight ADA accessible spaces there for, for uh, attendants to come when they come to the stadium. Uh, you can see the elevation there as well. Um, it's my understanding this has been requested a couple of times and this will allow us to have that seat in there for the visitor. Very good. It's not a project that is required. It is one I think that is important to do for sure and I appreciate the work on that. Does this include the option to make the seats very uncomfortable when we play Cooper? <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Any questions?
hands on this. Power is not laughing. <laughs> Mr. Hoover's not laughing. <laughs> were you or were you not, Mr. Hoover? <laughs> you can either confirm or deny. Just going with the page. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Where does that paycheck come from? Go <laughs> Any other questions on this? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item H, I recommend the board approve the contract with Wilford Oil and Construction in the amount of $134,948 for modification to Vistas Out Bleachers for Best Day Hills High School. For the superintendent's recommendation, I have a motion to approve. Second. Second. So, just the contract for the last? Yes. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item I. Based on the legal advice of our attorney, Mr. Boone, I recommend the board authorize me as superintendent to enter into an amendment to the contract by and between the city of Vestavia Hills, Alabama and Specialty <coughs> Turf Supply Incorporated for lawn maintenance services through September 30th, 2020. Per the superintendent's recommendation, do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second? Second. Second. All right. We plan to bring all lawn maintenance um, work around the system to the board uh, after bid here in April. This allows us to do all of the athletic spaces under a shared agreement with the city, with SDS, and they come highly recommended. Okay. I'll get you my address after the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> we can put some bleachers up front. Yeah, we can put the <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item J, I recommend the board approve the owner architect agreement with Lathan Associates Architects PC and the board in the amount of, uh, in the contract amount of $2.8 million for renovations for a new middle school package E softball and baseball complex as submitted. That 2.8, just so you know, is the budget for the project, not what we're going to pay. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> Um, you've heard the superintendent's recommendation. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second? Second. These are the ball fields at the back of uh, the area. This is baseball and softball. We, we, you've shown you these renderings yeah. before, but uh, we would anticipate starting the project in the fall, and, and hopefully the timing works similar to when the whole project is completed. And uh, we'll have two fields. That, the city is losing two fields here at Ball Park because of the work that they're doing. We gained those back uh, at Barry. Any questions from the board? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, this was me. Sure. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I like the moment of Do you like that though? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So, um, commentary before this is that, um, you know, I had a discussion with a couple of the board members and each one of them individually, and that, you know, we. Um, I think Dr. Freeman's been doing a really great job for us. And so um, he's been here a year. Um, sorry, year? One year. One year on the nose. And so um, we wanted to go and extend his contract and show A, our appreciation of what he has done for us, and then B, just to firm up our commitment to him as our, as our superintendent. So we wanted to put another year on the back end of that. and. Um, Publicly, I want to say that we appreciate you and you're doing a great job. We feel that you're leading us well and that we have um, strong levels of uh, direction and transparency and all those things. So we appreciate what you're doing. I know this is for your personality type, this is very not comfortable for you to have people say, <laughs> Would you like to say anything? <laughs> um, but we, we all do. So, and, and the community, I hear great things. Um, amongst us, we hear great things. and. The staff in general so thank you for that and um, Mr. Boone has prepared the documents that we can execute after we vote on this but um, I guess I bring the motion in this case Mr. Boone um, yes you can make it I can make it so I you, like you need to relinquish the the gavel to Mr. Dan of course oh or he can make it <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dent, why don't you make the record? Like <laughs> <Bolton over. laughs> yeah, by the way, for me. By the way, Mr. Dent only has like a couple of meetings left, so we'll let him make the recommendation. Ten years to life. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, like to make a recommendation that we extend the superintendent's employment contract of Dr. Freeman. Do I have a motion? So Second. Second. 
That's how many years ago? It, it's it's so it was three. One was out, so we're putting a three back on back on the end. I was told there'd be no math, please. <laughs> <laughs> as submitted. For the superintendent's recommendation around personnel, uh, do I have a motion to approve? Second. And second. second. Any questions, Commander? All good. All in favor? Aye. 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 I would like to uh, say without just mentioning names with regards to the personnel, we have uh, approved a series of uh, a lot of transfers with our K-5 configuration tonight. And I've had a team that's worked on that. I'm going to allow them just to stay anonymous, but they have worked diligently for several months to put together what I think are the comparable staffs uh, that we provide excellent instruction at all of our elementary schools next year. And so it's just an outstanding job uh, that has been done. And not every employee got the first choice that they had. 87% did. Uh, I felt very good about that. But in the end, we've got great staffs at all three schools. And I feel good about that. And we also approved tonight a new director of personnel services uh, who's in our office with a, uh, who's in our uh, meeting with us somewhere, Meredith Hanson. There she is. Meredith, welcome. Effective July 1. We have a prestigious group of teacher leaders that join us tonight. They had were started their class last week of new teacher leaders and were required to attend one meeting uh, before they end, and that's what, a year or two that they do check in? And so these are studious members of the team that are here, the first meeting after their first class. <laughs> <laughs> these are the star students. You've got to get to that first one. I was on a video talking about you were. I won't be here much longer, so congratulations. <laughs> it's good to see you all in person. <laughs> Representative Wheeler, thank you for joining us. Well, all right, so we've come to the time of public comment. If anyone has any commentary they'd like to offer, please limit your comments to the agenda items only. State your name and address. Anyone? Anyone? Thank you. There being none, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.